David Hack's Saltwater Ventures, the television series, is being brought to you by North Lake Charters, Top Notch Tuna Charters, The Annette Bay Fortune, and Sheltered Harbor Cafe. I would fly from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Toronto and make a connecting flight to Montreal with a connecting flight to Charlottetown, Canada. My accommodations would be provided by the Inn at Bay Fortune and my host would be innkeeper and owner David Wilmer, who I will meet later. After checking in, I was off to the marina, about a 45 minute drive to meet up with Captain Bruce Cuse, owner and operator of North Lake Charters, who I would be fishing with. I'm with Bruce Cuse, who I'm going to be fishing with here in the next couple of days uh, up here at uh, Prince Edward Island. We're going to be fishing for giant bluefin tuna. Right now we're at the dock. And he's got a nice tune on that might be four, 450 pounds that you uh, caught on a charter this morning. So uh, give me a little bit of rundown, uh, you know, what you're using for bait, and how long did it take you to get the fish uh, to the boat? Um, we were using some uh, live mackerel, live bait, and we had a kite out, and uh, the tuna just came up and nailed the kite bait on top of the surface, splashing around. And, and uh, we were originally, before that, we were uh, trying the deep baits, and they weren't taking that, so the tuna seemed to be on the surface, so we uh, got the kite up there quick, and we uh, were able to nail one. So Bouncing the bait off the water. Just bouncing the bait off the top of the water, yeah, splashing Work, around. It works every time. It does, it? yeah. <laughs> Bruce brought this fish in, so we're going to hang around and see what, it, uh, what it's going to weigh. Uh, we couldn't have timed it better. Anyway, I'm looking forward to fishing with you and uh, Mark, and, you know, hopefully we're going to get on some fish. Oh, I think we will, yeah. There's all kinds of fish out there, so just a matter of getting over the right one little bite. The three Joining me is David Wilmer, who is the innkeeper here at the Inn of Bay Fortune. David, thanks for joining me this morning, and uh, what a beautiful property, man, I'll tell you what. And I might mention we are in Canada at Prince Edward Island, uh, and David uh, is my host for this uh, episode of Saltwater Ventures, and you've provided us with a great cottage. But tell me a little bit more about uh, the Inn at Bay Fortune. Sure. Well, the uh, Inn at Bay Fortune, uh, we're going to be going into our 25th season next year. We opened in 1989 and uh, we're about 17 rooms. Uh, we have 14 with fireplace, five with balcony, a couple with private porch. Uh, we're a CAA, AAA, Four Diamond restaurant with Wine Spectator award-winning wine list. Sounds great to me. What, uh, for breakfast, do you offer breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner? No, we uh, serve breakfast to our guests, and so that's a uh, cold breakfast to start and then a hot breakfast to follow. And as far as our lunch, uh, we're sending our guests out touring around the island. As far as dinner, uh, every night for uh, the five months or so that we're open each year. You got the bay right over here, which is Bay Fortune, is that right? It is. It was settled in originally by the, uh, the French, and that's why it's Bay Fortune instead of Fortune Bay. This is very interesting, the architect of the place. What is it based on? Well, the uh, original building here was built by a guy by the name of Elmer Harris. He was a playwright. Uh, he wrote a play called Johnny Belinda. He owned this from 1910 until 1964. It was just a summer home, actually. And this is a property that I drove by for, say, 20 years before I bought it. And when I bought it, I bought it from Colleen Dewhurst, the actress. Oh, uh, yes, yes. It was her summer home. The part that we're standing in front of right now, we added in 1998. And we're trying to mimic the original architecture. So uh, most of the rooms had fireplace. Uh, it was just a... Uh, 
it was a different era. If you're looking at the uh, property, you have to keep in mind that there used to be trains twice weekly from Charlottetown to Boston. It was known as the Boston States back then. You've done a great job. It's a fantastic property, and I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here, John and myself, and uh, we're looking to uh, a great stay here at the end of Bay Fort at the end in at Bay Fortune. I'll get it out sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> David, thanks for taking time to join me. We left the marina about 7 a.m. We had overcast skies and rain. First order of business was to catch live mackerel. I would be fishing the Gulf of St. Lawrence in 80 to 100 feet of water and no more than two to three miles offshore with a water temperature around 65 degrees. With the herring chum in the water, the tuna started coming to the surface to feed on the cut chum. Bruce rigged the live mackerel. Then set the kite with the live mackerel dancing on the water surface. It wasn't long before we had a strike. Oh, hey, you got a strike. Fish on. Fish on. He hit it. Boy, and I had the camera right on it too when it hit it. Yeah, yeah. There he is, there he is. Giant bluefin tuna fishing, boys. Best, strongest fish, and the fastest fish in the world, right here. My giants. These are all my giants. Doing great, John. I'm watching the rod tip right now. When the rod tip comes up, I whine. That gives me a little bit of slack so I can gain on this fish. Oh boy, when they break, they pow. There was a lot of pressure on the rod tip as John fought the large bluefin tuna. Well, I just lost all that line I brought in. <laughs> Captain's doing a great job handling the boat. Captain's got to really watch that line. If it gets under the boat, we could lose this fish. There he is, Dave. There he is. This tuna was estimated to weigh 750 to 800 pounds. With a quick head shake, it threw the hook. got the uh, pleasure of uh, bringing a fish to the boat. What do you yeah. figure you weighed? Uh, my estimate was for 750, 800 pounds. That's a big fish. Big That's fish. a big yellow or bluefin tuna, big giant fish. bluefin tuna. Yep. Anyway, thank you so much. No problem. Man, I was worried about this, but buddy, we did it. <laughs> what a quick tool. Captain <laughs> Bruce Cues, man. Yeah. North Lake Charters. We 
started to chum again, and we can see the tuna returning to feed on the cut up herring. And just that quick, we had another hookup. Adventures, my first bluefin tuna. Go to your part, you scabbing? I put an old man, he put it in a gunnel for me. That's it, Dave, you're doing great. Good guy, huh? Try not to kink it too much, it's kind of halfway kind of thing, yeah? There I go. I left the rod in the gunnel rod holder, thinking it would be easier. Boy, was I wrong. Now you do great, Dave. That's perfect form right there. Perfect form. Come on here. Leave it hot. <laughs> Doing great, Dave. Listen, this is a lot of work. It's more than what you think. I had to keep pulling line with my left hand and cranking the reel with my right hand to gain on the tuna. It was inch by inch to get the tuna to the boat. Stripping line now. Loop into the Prince Edward Island style. Fishing with. Don't think you got it. on the top of the world. Dude. Yeah. There was a lot of pressure on the rod, but this rod was built for tuna fishing. Finally, the tuna came to the surface as if to get a gulp of air, only to take off again. The giant bluefin returned to the surface. It was tired and so was I. This giant bluefin was estimated to be a thousand pounds plus. It was released to fight another day. This is the crew of the North, North Lake Charters right here, so 
Good job, guys. Good excellent, job, Eric. Excellent, Good job. excellent boat handling. I, I, I tell you what, I, I'm amazed. The boat handling was fantastic. It was just unreal. I mean, these guys are out here. We have, I don't think there's been another hookup. We weren't here 10 minutes and bang. Yeah. All right. This guy here's got a 50 years experience right here, the old boat handling, so. Good job. All right. Good let's, job. Let's uh, do what we got to do. Yep. And I was just told that you hold a world record for a giant bluefin tuna. Yeah, we had four all together over the years. First one was the 10-10 on the 80-pound test. And then the following year, we broke that to 11-40-some uh, 11, 11 or 11-30-some. And then we had the 130-pound class line, and that was 12.45. And Ken Frazier broke that one. And at the same day that Ken Frazier got his, we got ours, but we were on this on our own, you know, instead of the charter board the boat, so I didn't bother claiming it. So the Department of Fisheries measured it, and it got the same length, same girt, and, you know, all the stuff, and they figured it was the same size. They want me to, to weigh them down there, but I didn't. And so you never did weigh the fish, so you really don't know what the fish weighed. Well, what about a guesstimate? Well, the estimate was 1,200-some pounds. Wow. Well. Right. No, 1,400 some pounds, 1400. because, yeah, 1,400 some pounds, because he was the same girt, and when we took him to the island here the next day, he was 1,300 and some pounds. All right, well, there you got it from a guy, and you've been doing this how many years? This is, uh, well, since 65, 66, we started. All right. He's the same age as me, and I am not going to tell you how old we are, but we've both been doing this for a long, long time. Cor, Peter, I appreciate uh, you guys on the boat the other day. You all did an excellent job, and... We look forward to uh, coming back maybe sometime and uh, fishing for fun with you all. With me is Captain Bruce Cuse, who is the owner and operator of uh, North Lake Charters. Well, we went out yesterday. We had a good day. We had some rain, but the tuna were on. Yeah, they were biting pretty hot and heavy there today, or yesterday, sorry. Um, we put the kite out there, and 30 seconds later, we were on a bluefin giant and got yeah. him back in about 35 minutes. He's got, you guys did a great job fighting them. And well, thank you. Awesome work. Tell me about your uh, tell me about your boat, which is right here behind us. Uh, how big it is? Uh, what you're running for tackle? Uh, it's a 45 foot fiberglass boat. Um, we have uh, rod and rail, and we use uh, 180 pound test uh, fluorocarbon for leaders, and we have a 200 pound test uh, Dacron as a header there, and that's mainly what we run. Yep. All right, and then the other thing that you're using, you're using circle hooks. Yeah, we use the circle hooks because we want to had successful uh, releases with the uh, tuna and try to hurt, like try not to hurt them as much as possible and they always seem to hook in the jaw so that's what we're trying to aim for here. In a minute the tuna gives you a little slack, the hook's out. Yep, they can pop right out, they're barbless and they can pop right out and you're all done. <laughs> yep. um, your charters are how long? I mean each, uh, you run by the day, half day? Yeah, we do both. We do the full day and a half day and a full day is usually eight hours and a half day is usually four hours. And what do you provide on a boat for your clients? We usually provide a lunch and a snack and pop and soda and drinks. And Miss Fern's favorite candy. Oh, yes. She's got the dream squares ready to go. <laughs> and these guys love them, let me tell you. <laughs> they were delicious. Listen, Bruce, uh, it's been a great time here. We've enjoyed it very much uh, for myself for myself and John. Uh, we want to thank you because, uh, man, the crew was great. I, w I wish Cor and uh, Peter's. Uh, Peter were here. Uh, Cor is his dad, who is Cornelius, and he likes to be called Cor. And then we got Pete, who is the mate. Uh, they they worked well together. And I might mention as well that uh, Bruce and Mark, they more or less work together on their charters and everything. So they share information. Uh, it's not like some charters where uh, nobody wants to share information. But these guys, they do share information with each other. They basically both run the same uh, equipment. So uh, if you want to come up here, you can get a hold of them uh, through my website, saltwaterventures.com, and we'll have all the information up there for you to go to, uh, to uh, if you want to book something to come to uh, Prince Edward Island and either book, uh, book with the uh, North uh, Lake Charters right here. So once again, Bruce, thank you so much. You're welcome, Dave. Thanks for having me, and you guys were great. All right. That's thank it for now. David Hack's Saltwater Ventures, the television series, has been brought to you by North Lake Charters. Top Notch Tuna Charters, The Inn at Bay Fortune, and Sheltered Harbor Cafe.
Banana Boat. P-Line. Pro Cure Bait Sense. Throw Raft. Scent Blazer Lures. Real Hot Lures. Wire Reels. Ruger. Bimini Bay Outfitters. GoPro Be a Hero. Coleman. Cables. Contact North Lake Charters at 902-620-8998 or northlakecharters.com. Contact the Inn at Bay Fortune at 902-687-3745 or Inn at Bay Fortune.com. Contact Top Notch at 902-626-8423 or PEI Giant Bluefin Tuna Charters.com. Contact Shelford Harbor Cafe at 902-687-1997 or shelteredharbor.com. Special thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Cork Hughes and Peter O'Dell and to all of the staff at the Inn of Faith Fortune and Sheltered Harbor Cafe. For questions about the show, email svtv at bellsouth.net or log on to saltwaterventures.com for sponsors, advertisers, and resort information. This is Tow Truck Mike Murray. On behalf of the Saltwater Ventures crew, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>